We all came out of school knowing how to do the perfect physical exam. We used all of our senses, all five senses. What I'm going to talk to you today is about digital thermal imaging, your sixth sense. We're going to measure, be able to do a physiological exam on our patients, something we've not been able to do except with nuclear scintigraphy, which is just not practical in a clinical setting. We're going to be able to measure the radiant energy coming from our patients. We're going to measure it, compile it, into data and then be able to put it into a frame or image and then be able to analyze that image. Digital thermal imaging provides your practice with a numerous applications here. The first of which is a physiological screening exam. In this exam, you're going to be able to just in a few minutes go over the entire patient and point out areas that need further analysis, further maybe further diagnostics, something that you need to do to be able to better analyze our patients. Our goal every day is to take the best care of our patients that we can. By doing this screen, probably 80% of the clients that walk through your door would benefit from this imaging. The second way you're going to integrate this practice is a physiological, be able to physiologically monitor your patients. This is extremely important. We, right now, unless you're using digital thermal imaging, you are monitoring your patients subjectively. They jump, they were able to jump in the car after two weeks of non-steroidals, for example. Well, you don't know if that's 50% better or 10% better. But with digital thermal imaging, you can actually objectively put a number on this, a percentage of how much better your patient is doing. We can say, you know, whether it's, their, it's pharmaceutical, like I just mentioned with the non whether it's modality-based, whether it's the stage of rehabilitation they're in, whatever. You can monitor it. And you not only when you monitor, you're not only monitoring a patient for your benefit, you're monitoring for your client's benefit because they can see how well their patient's doing. And they can also see if it's not doing really well, but you're able to to fix that. You're able to add medications to it, or maybe they're doing extremely well, and you can start withdrawing them from some of the medications or lessen the number of laser therapy sessions or you know, increase their rate of rehabilitation. The third way we integrate this into our practice is performing a comprehensive physiological exam. In this, we are actually going through every anatomical region of, the, of our patients and taking thorough number of images and actually measuring all those images and comparing bilateral symmetry. We're doing that so that we have a, a nice baseline set of data to, to basically establish what we need to do next to keep that patient's quality of life at a high level. We then use that as the baseline for monitoring it with digital thermal imaging somewhere down the road. Maybe it be two weeks, maybe it be a week, maybe it be two months or a year later. So that way we're doing it. This is very important in geriatric care, but not only that, sports medicine. We're going to absolutely take our canine athletes, for example, or our equine athletes and be able to go ahead and check them at a baseline level and find out where they are at right now and then be able to maintain that athletic performance at the highest level they're capable of throughout their career.